Ptosis. Ptosis comes from the Greek word that means to fall. It is an abnormally low position or drooping of the upper eyelid. First, let's talk about anatomy. We are able to lift our upper eyelid up with the help of two muscles. The main one that does all the work is called levator palpebrae superioris, which attaches to the lid structures, including the lid skin causing upper lid crease through an aponeurosis, and the minor one is called muller muscle. Both of them work when they get signals from the brain through different nerves. Any disease affecting them would lead to ptosis or drooping of upper eyelid. Causes. These include acquired, congenital. Acquired include 1. Neurogenic. Basically, there is an innervation defect of the muscles, and because nerves supplying the muscles are not working, the muscles will be unable to work properly. 2. Myogenic. A. Impairment of transmission of impulses from the nerve to the muscle at their junction, e.g. myasthenia gravis. B. Myopathies, which means pathology of the muscle itself is directly affecting the muscles involved in eyelid lifting. 3. Aponeurotic, also known as senile ptosis, in which there is age-related atrophy of the levator muscle aponeurosis. 4. Mechanical, gravitational effect of a mass pulling the lid down, for example due to a tumour. Great. Ptosis could be mild, up to 2 mm drooping of eyelid, moderate, up to 3 mm drooping of eyelid, or severe, 4 mm or more drooping of eyelid depending upon the amount of ptosis present. Signs and symptoms. The most obvious sign of ptosis is a drooping eyelid. Another sign is when the upper eyelid creases do not line up evenly with each other. A child with ptosis may tip their head back, lift up their chin, or raise their eyebrows to try to see better. Over time, these movements can cause head and neck problems. Treatment. Treatment consists of A. Surgery in most cases. Conjunctival and Muller resection in mild ptosis achieves 2 to 3 mm elevation of eyelid. Levator resection in moderate to severe ptosis, usually done in congenital ptosis, achieves 5 mm elevation of eyelid. Brow suspension in very severe ptosis. B. Treat the underlying cause. For example, in ptosis due to myasthenia gravis or a mechanical cause, Treat myasthenia gravis or remove the mechanical cause. 